Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards, helping maintenance and reliability professionals get the most out of Power BI. So welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking you through how you can embed Power BI reports directly into PowerPoint. Okay, so let's get started. So here we have the, the end result here. We've got um, this Power BI report here, and you can see it is embedded into this PowerPoint presentation. So I can use these filters here and I can apply them and I can actually even go and drill through all within this area here, which is an embedded Power BI report. So really neat, really cool, super helpful. So I'm going to talk you through a little bit of a scenario, talk through the features, and the scenario is going to be creating a monthly reliability report. Okay, so this is a report that we've got, monthly maintenance update. You may have a typical report. It's the type of report you want to um, deliver on a monthly basis, either as a presentation or as a report that you can send out to some of the managers and key stakeholders. Now, ideally, you might want people to visit a Power BI curated app that's got all this information in it. And if it is, then great. But often you want a report that you can print out, you can leaf through, you can use as a reference point in the future. And if you do, then you can leverage the data that you've probably already got in Power BI. So historically, what you might have done is you might have gone in and um, for the backlog status, you might have taken this um, this PowerPoint presentation here and, and simply run the filters and copied and pasted it into your um your PowerPoint presentation. Okay, taking the Power BI report and pasted it in the PowerPoint presentation. Now that's no longer possible. That's no longer necessary. You can do it, but it's no longer necessary. So the first thing you need to do um, is actually go and add an add-in into PowerPoint. So I'll just show you how you, how you can do that. So I'm back in PowerPoint here, and if we go to Insert and we go to Get Add-ins. And the add-in that we're looking for is Power BI. And we'll search for that. And it's this one here. It's now this Power BI tiles, okay? Because you've got to pay for that. This is the one you definitely want, and then you just add it in. Now, you might find that you might need to contact your admin if you're in a large corporation, because often you can find that these are blocked and you need to get them released so that you can actually um, embed this. But mine's is open and, and ready to go. So add it in. And then when we go to get add-ins, this will be available, okay? Now, if you want to add this in here, so I want to add the backlog status report into here. So what you need to do is go into my add-ins, click on here and just add it in. Okay, now this section here uh, tells you a little bit of how it works and there's a URL here. So if we go back to the Power BI service and go to navigate to the actual report and the tab that you want and then paste it in here. Okay, so I'm back in the Power BI service and I'm going to copy this full URL here. And then I'm going to flick back to PowerPoint and I'm going to paste it in here. And then press insert. Okay, and we can see it's connected straight into that report. And we can move this about. It's an object in in PowerPoint, so you can move it and you can resize it, and it automatically scales, etc. So the next thing we're going to look at is some of the options you've got with this object in PowerPoint. So the first thing we've got is obviously it's interactive, so you've got your filters here. However, if you just come off it for a second and just hover across here, you see this little bar comes up. Okay, and that gives you a few different options here. Now, one of the options, which is really the only one I was really using here, I mean, Reloads is useful, is this show a saved image. Now, what that does is it toggles it so that this is now an image. Okay, it's now an image. Now, you can toggle back again. So I found the best way to do that is you come off of it, you click on it, and then it appears up here. Okay, and you can toggle this to be back as a power an embedded Power BI report. So that's important because if you want to create a set piece for the monthly report or something that you don't want to change once you've actually put some comments beside it or, or whatever, then that would be the, the button to press. Now, there's some other things you can do here to tidy this up. At the bottom, you've got some data options here so you can show and hide these filters at the side here, 
which I would recommend you do before you take a snapshot. Okay, so apply your filters. You can refresh the data and you can reset to the original report view. So you've got a few different options you can use here. And in here, we've got start over a new report. So if you click, click that button here, it's going to clear this report and it's going to give you the option to go and add in another report again. It's just It just stops you from having to go and actually add in a new in um, a new add-in. So yeah, I'll save a bit of time there. So the other thing you've got is this collapse toolbar. Now it does tell you the actual date that this report was updated, which can be quite useful. If you don't want to see that, you just want to see the name of the report, then click on here. And it leaves this really handy link here. And if you click on it, it's going to navigate you to the source report in the Power BI service. Okay, and then you can start to um, navigate around it in here, maybe go to other reports or whatever. So lots and lots of useful bits and pieces of information here. So that's it. You can embed a report in here. And if that's all you want to do, then great. Now I've got another little extension in this video where I'm going to show you how you can create a template so that every month you can actually create the same report and just go and make some changes. Okay, so we're back in our report again. And I'm just going to go and stick this here. And what we've got with this monthly report is basically a, a, a template that we're going to use every month. Now, you may again have a monthly report that's got a fixed agenda. Now, this agenda is just something I've put together that um, is an example here. But this is going to be a combination of commentary and narrative and maybe screenshots from other um, other other reports that aren't necessarily connected to the Power BI service or you don't have a Power BI report for. Um, it can be updates, it can be pictures. So the PowerPoint presentation is likely to be a combination of a few different um, aspects and, da and data sources. So this one here, you could have a health and safety aspect here. We've got the backlog report um, here. There's two here, well, I'll leave that one in. That was the one I created beforehand, so we can actually get rid of this one as an example. Um, we've maybe got one that shows us a bit about the risk file, which is another Power BI report. And there's one for production losses. And then we go on to other things here, like root cause analysis findings. So that would just be some commentary from any root cause analysis that's been carried out that month. And then we've got some other Power BI reports. And then finally, we've got some activities for next month that would be put in at the start of each month when you're preparing this report. So you get the, the, the idea there. Now, what I want to do is I want to save this as a template. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into File and I'm going to go to Save Copy and I'm going to go in here to this one here where, uh, no, that one, this one here, PowerPoint Template. Now, you can see here, this is this is a, a, the, the current place where this is saved, but there's a little option here, recommend another folder for this type of file. And now you press this button here and what it's going to do is it's going to take you to the actual template or the folder location where templates are stored for PowerPoint on your computer. So I'm going to save this as V1. Um, in fact, we'll call this monthly report template V1 and I'm just going to save it in there. Okay, so I'm going to go and close this down. And we're going to go and open a new PowerPoint. And I'm going to click on new here. Um, we can see here that we've got all of these templates that come as as a standard with Office. But if I click on this personal, here's a couple of templates that I've created here. Now I click on this one here, and it's a monthly maintenance report. Press this create button, and we can see the agenda, the actual Power BI reports. Now, because it's automatically updating every time you go into this, this is going to be the report that you're going to see for this particular month. It's going to be the, the, the latest information. And all you need to do is go in and add in your, your commentary here for each one of these. And then once you're happy that you've got that, hide the filters. And then just go and show it as a saved image. And that then locks that in as a, an image so that the findings and actions you've got that are um, related to this report are always relevant. Okay, so they don't change the next time you go in and you then go and save as. Well, actually, this is it. This is it opened up as a new um, PowerPoint file and just save it as this next monthly file, monthly report. So hopefully just had a little bit of an idea about how you might want to use this and how flexible it is and how you can use a template to sort of leverage the embedded Power BI reports in PowerPoint. 
So thanks for listening. If you found this useful, then it's always appreciated if you could give it a thumbs up. And if you want to keep up with the up to date with the latest videos, then feel free to hit the subscribe button and you'll get a notification whenever I release a new video, which is around about every week. Thanks again and I'll talk to you in the next video.